Welcome to my store. This is down in the basement now. So if you look back there, see those little fish? Those are chili west forests. Very tiny. And then in here, there's some uh, firemost cichlids, and right in the middle of the screen, that's a green terror. Down here, let's see how we put the filters in the tank if they leak. We got a uh, convex cichlid, good size one there. And we got a silver dollar. Okay, there's a big tricolor shark. In the wooden box, there's nothing right now. Nothing, nothing. Okay, there's some uh, tankerized bongai cardinals and various clownfish. Very pretty. Down here, what do we got? Oh, we got some tangs, monos. Down there, that burr fish that was supposed to be a porcupine puffer, scarlet uh, big eye, black barred soldier fish, or eels, snowflakes. Yeah, there's three of them down there. And over here, um, we're really good at growing ketomorph uh, algae. Uh, tanks full of it. Uh, when it gets too much upstairs, I bring her down here until I get it sold. And this is just an assorted tetra tank. There's uh, gold tetras, black neons, there's black tetras, serpe tetras, blue and blue and red tetras, um, pearl gouramis, nice little pink Corydoras. And then in here, it's the 135 that uh, you've seen be repaired a few times. Okay, there's the last repair, and then there's the repair over here, and then there's the repair over there. Eventually, I'm going to have every seam patched on this, and then I won't have it leak ever again. Nice big angel. Medium angel. Various uh, rainbow fish. All oh, these guys are so cool. Rose line sharks. And then down here are various isolation hospital tanks. Female red devil. Some uh, a yellow lab that was getting beat up. Some other uh, yellow labs that they grew up there. Frontosa needed to be separated. These are some weird goldfish. They came out of a koi pond, and when you get the crosses and weird things, you get some cool colors. And then there's another female red devil. Okay. Guppies. Guppies galore. These are locally uh, tank-raised guppies. Harlequin raspora, black neon. Down here, we got the uh, green severum. Silver dollars, various garamis. Up here is the last of these tetras. They have a tendency to buy a bunch, put them in a tank, wait for the quarantine, and then sell them. And then that's the new tank of uh, tetras. Here's some red eye tetras, harlequin rasporas, lemon tetras. My very first freshwater fish well that I bought. And there's a molly, there's a sword tail there. This is the uh, long armed blue ghost prawn from the prawn surgery here and a bit ago. He eats fish, so he's really hard to sell. Uh, there's a couple of cherry barbs in there, white cloud, oh no, they're white cloud mountain minnows. A couple baby guppies in there. These are. Purple paradise fish. They're a very close relative of the uh, Siamese fighting fish. They actually are even better suited because uh, they uh, like a wider range of cooler temperatures. And I think we got just the one African clawed frog back there, the albino one, back corner. 
Um, well, flying foxes. They're a really good algae to. Female guppy about to have babies any day now. Uh, more java moss. Bunch of small silver dollars. Uh, some kind of African cichlid. Forget. Synodontis down there. A couple of them. And a big. Uh, African cichlid, and then there's a uh, spotted pim um, in here hiding. Oh, there they are. Piranhas. Filter in there, you see? And shrimp swimming upside down. This is a big tub. See various shrimp around here, starfish. We're in the middle of uh, making this really deep. Then we're going to pump all the water in after we redo that system. Okay, this is the uh, camel shrimp, also known as sexy dancing shrimp. Coral banded shrimp in the tube. Bunch of pink tipped anemones, various hermit crabs, starfish. There's a uh, big dwarf zebra. It's an oxymoron, they're not really dwarf. And those are our prize feather dusters. They were born here. Still don't know what that red stuff is, but it's pretty. That's a type of encrusting coral. I keep forgetting the name. That coral there was born here. I saw a little wee tiny thing on a rock one day, and eh, eight months ago. We feed this tank green water and rotifers and stuff, so they do well. Mangrove trees, my refugium. There's that tomato clown. He's been here a long time. This here is a banded tulip snail. It's a carnivorous snail. It'll eat dead things. It'll eat live snails. The other end of the pink tipped anemone tank. Ah, uh, there. See him there on the rock? This is a squat lobster. Looks a lot like an Alaskan king crab. If you don't know what an Alaskan king crab looks like. As you can see the anemones. We just, uh, light's not on that long, so they're just opening up. <laughs> you can see how big they get. Uh, good sized tank. Some medium large feeder goldfish that are going to be the pool fish of next year. This is a fish only with live rock tank. Got a, there we go, a diadema basslid, some uh, perculas, oscillaris, mm, eogobies, yellowtail blue damsel. And here there's a blue lobster. Oh wow, he's getting big. Look at the size of the antennae on him. And then some purple tangs, a few clownfish, yellowtail blue damsel. There's the big hermit crab. Dog faced puffer, you've seen him around for a long time. The mouse fish, banded sandfish. Okay, so that's the end of this video.